Okay, so you know, I said in our last class we did this thing for deviation without the frequency. The mean deviation is giving us x all over the number of items there. Now, when you have the frequency, we say that it is for summation of frequency and the deviation all over what um, summation of frequency. And this absolute deviation can be taken as this as case may be. So this, this, and this will give us same values when we try to what, uh, approximate them or find their total values. For standard deviation SD, we say a standard deviation can also be represented with S, capital S, or we have sigma. This is all sigma. This is a symbol for sigma, and it is summation f s minus s bar squared so over summation f. So this was what we treated in our last class concerning this. And this is for those the one that has what frequency. If it doesn't have frequency, it has summation s minus x bar squared all over n. So this is also value for the standard deviation. When you want to work through your table, if you are giving some a data with your frequency, this is how our table will look like. Now, when you have your, your data and then you don't want to find the word, the standard deviation, okay, let's start with the mean deviation. The mean deviation will now be what? Summation of what? F what? X minus F bar all over summation of F. That's when you sum this in. Sum this one, you want sum this one. Now, if you give it what the mean deviation, if you are giving the data with what frequency, this is what you do. Now, if you are not working with standard deviation, standard deviation requires you to sum this one. You sum this one. You see the one with red ink. We have that was so the standard deviation. We now be the square root of summation f s minus s bar square all over summation f. So this gives us what the red one gives us what the standard deviation, while the black one gives us the a mean deviation. Deviation. Standard deviation with frequency can also mean here. The standard deviation symbol be root. Remember, it is all root. Summation of f s squared all over summation of f minus summation of f s all over summation of f all squared. Several formulas you can use to get standard deviation. Remember, this one has been given. And now, if you're talking about that of uh, oh my God, my God. using deviation, or even if you want to use what, this one, can sum this one. Now, standard deviation can also mean summation of what? Summation of S squared I mean, I mean, over N minus mean bar squared. Yeah. That is a yeah. I can remove this if you don't want to remove it. Uh, if you don't want to use it, you can bring it closer. This is also formula for standard equation. No, I'm not the six. You the six. Yeah, you know yeah. that this is a um, it is just a sum of all the number items you have there. That is it. So this one does not require us to have what the frequency in this case. But we can also use this one to also find your standard deviation. 
Okay. Now remember that they said this is some variance. So when you now take root of this thing, sorry, when you take root of this thing, uh -huh, it gives us standard deviation. Remember, standard deviation is all about root. And why variance is when you take up the root, the root square here. So that is true. This is the standard deviation. Now, I'm um, using this example now. We know that what? This, this is what? X. So, X square will now be what? 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, and 64. You see it now. Now, we know also that our mean, what we have at the hand as our mean is what? 5. This is 35 divided by uh, 7, which is what? Five. Now, summation of x squared, when you sum this, this is 13, 29, 40 what? 44. Uh, 44 plus this is 80. 80, 100 and what? 29. 129 plus 164, uh, we give us what? 190 what? 3. That's um, 193. All over, okay, this is total for this. Now, we have what? So if this is if it's 193, please confirm it. If it's 193. <laughs> we be 193 over 7 minus 5 square, which is what? 25. What do we have? 2.57. Everything? Yes. That is, this one is what? Uh, divide, that's uh, Dividing 197 by 7, you have. No, this is 1.6 also. Oh, I was getting what? 2. So, you take the, of the first one that we used, gave us 2. That's the code. That's the first one. Um, the first one that they, uh, gave us as this that was summation s minus s bar all squared over n. Uh, it gave us what the, the standard deviation was two. So if you use this one now, this one when you have cosmic to the nearest one number, also get to two. Now, you consider a group data. You know, group data has what interval. Like they say that you consider something like uh, interval giving. They give an interval. You know that at that interval, maybe um, you are giving something like 1 to 20, 21 to 40, and um, 41 to 60, and uh, 61 to 80, as case may be. And uh, 81 to 100. Now, you know, after the interval, we have the midpoint. This is the midpoint. Now, if you get to your midpoint, we have the frequency. Now, how do you now work on this? The midpoint, this was divided by 2. This was divided by 2. This was the midpoint. You know, the class width of this list is what? 20. So, 21 divided by 2 gives us what? 11.5, uh, 10.5. So here it's 20.5. I mean, plus 20, this is 30.5. Plus 20, 50.5. Plus 20, 70.5. Plus 20, 90.5. So we have a frequency, I think that we have something like uh, 7, 11, uh, 5, uh, 4, and 3. So we have what we call Fx. This is Fx. This frequency times the midpoint. Once you get the midpoint, now what? If you want to get the deviation, you are free to get the deviation if you are using the deviation. If you are not using the deviation, you can leave it. Now, we have what we call S squared. You can get this one. You get Fs squared. So let us see if we can work with this. See, 
how we manage to get our uh, we have gotten the key. This is the midpoint. When you times this, you have something like this. Square this one, you get it here. And uh, this time, this gives us this. So this gives us what the uh, table we are going to work with. Now, to now find the standard deviation. The standard deviation can be gotten from this table, but for mean deviation, you're not going to make you get the mean deviation from this table unless you have what the deviations from the mean. The deviation from the mean will be is x minus x bar. There is no table for it unless you have it. Once you have this mean deviation, then maybe you can calculate using these tables here. But once that is not present, you cannot calculate mean deviation with this word table. There is need for you to also go and create that for it. Any question? Any question? Uncle. Mm. Eh? Uncle, please can you repeat what you said? In repeating what I said, I said from this table now, you can easily find the variance. And also, you can easily find the standard deviation. If you want to find the mean deviation, you must create columns for the absolute value for, of the deviation. This is the deviation, absolute value of the deviation. And also, create table for the frequency times the absolute value of the deviation. So, when you now create that table, so you now want to all these things and get the values of these corresponding ones. You can easily get your mean deviation. And remember that the mean deviation is sent in our summation f s minus s bar in the absolute value of our summation f. This is your mean deviation. So why standard deviation can be the square of this particular deviation? Yes. So these things, once you have them in your table, you are going to get whatever question you are asked to get. So let us quickly draw a nice table. Let us read the nice table. Show all the necessary parameters needed in this uh, in the solution of that. Now, imagine we have a table that has how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This table has ten columns. And with this now, we can use this table to calculate all the necessary panel uh, work given unto us to work on. Now, with this, we can easily get, with this table given, please, you have all these things to see. This is the deviation. This is absolute deviation, that's the positive value of this. This is the frequency times the positive value, you have it here. When you square this deviation, you have it here. This is at the midpoint square, is this one. This is F times the midpoint, and this is the F times what? The square of the midpoint, you have this here. So we now have here that's what? Our mean deviation. You can easily get your mean from here. Remember, let us start with the mean, the general mean summation fx over summation f. But that's not by the, that's not it. No, this is mean is summation fx over summation f. Now, mean deviation is summation f of s minus s bar over summation f. This is the mean deviation. Now, we have the standard of uh, the variance is equal to summation. So the variance can be of different kinds. We, we even have f d squared. There's, there's a column for what? F d squared. F d squared. So, you see, I've added extra column here. We have added extra column, f d squared. You can also use it to calculate what? The variance. Now, the variance can be. Summation f 
of uh, S minus that the deviation is the deviation F G squared over summation F. This is the variance. So it can also mean what summation. This thing can also mean summation F X squared F minus summation F X F all squared. So you see now, this and this are all of this table. You know that this one is what? This times what? This, which is this. So this is it. Now, why the, the square root of uh, this is what? You know, when you square standard, uh, when you square or standard deviation, you get the variance. So you can easily calculate the variance, uh, standard deviation by taking the square root of whatever you have and this. You see now, this table has given us everything that we needed to find the mean, the mean deviation, this variance and the standard deviation. The interval means when you are giving something like uh, 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, as case may be. Why this one is a midpoint? This is a midpoint. 1 plus 5 divided by 2 to give us 3. 6 plus 10 divided by 2 to give us 8. This plus 6 to divided by 2 to give us 13, as case may be. You will give the frequency of these things. Now, in this case, you may, you may be asked to choose what you assume me. Deviation from the assume me can give you this. That is, this one can mean the assume me. This S bar can mean the word assume me. So that is it. Okay. Now, using this example, giving you uh, find the mean deviation variance and the standard deviation. Once you are done, we'd like to get your answers and do stick to our videos. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you.